Okay, so part two of the Dead Cat build video. Now, if you remember in part one, I talked about the original frame. This is my personal frame here. You will recognize it and the pros and cons of why I liked this and how I thought it could be improved for, for me anyway. Uh, now what we're gonna do in this video is go through and build the new, uh, well I'm calling the new dead cap because it uses the integrated board which has just been released um, and we are looking to up our performance and up our flight times. Now my original thinking was to reduce the weight and that would be enough but looking at some comments and thinking about it a little bit more and discussing with Matt here behind the camera uh, I'm actually going to change things up a bit. I'm going to go with a 1000 kV instead of the 1200 kV that I had on the uh, original dead cat that you see to my right here. And I've also gone from 8x4.5 to 9x4.7. Matt had a lot of luck with those on his recent SK450, so I'm going to try that out myself. Now what you will need for this upgrade to the integrated board, you'll need the original SK450 kit, you will need the dead cat conversion kit, which I have here, and then finally you'll need the uh, integrated board piece that I see here. Well, these are all separate items. Uh, I'll just quickly take you through the uh, stuff I'm going to be putting on my V2. I've got the Afro 20 amp ESCs, very, very good speed controllers. Matt's been happy, and I know a lot of you guys have been very happy with these. KK2, the 1000 kV uh, MTM motors, as I mentioned, and just a, a bunch of LEDs and everything else that will essentially make it identical to the original one here, but with the integrated board, with weight saving, and with hopefully better performance too. Now for me, I'm just interested in sports flying and line of sight camera work. So for that kind of setup, this is the ideal frame, and I'm very excited to get this built. I will build this now, and you will see that, and then we'll come back and talk about the pros and cons, and see how the two compare. I did build this just last night and uh, what a build it was. Very enjoyable, I must say, this uh, V2 dead cat, as I'm gonna call it. Um, between the two of them, uh, they're, they're pretty similar in the actual build, but what you will notice, or certainly I notice, uh, is the uh, tidiness of this one compared to this one. Now, I was very anal with my uh, Mark I and tried to make it as tidy as I could, but just to look at them, you can see, uh, certainly, uh, Matt and I are of the opinion that this is a, a much neater looking frame. So that's one of the key benefits just there. There was weight saved um, and it shouldn't be sniffed at, but it's not as significant as I thought it would be. Uh, in total, we weighed the two. The original one weighed uh, just over two pounds, six ounces. The new one weighed just over two pounds. So it's a saving of uh, five to six ounces. To put that in perspective, a 2200 3S LiPo that I have here, which these quads use, that weighs just over six ounces. So the weight I saved is just under the size of this pack in physical form. So quite a saving. Now the real proof in the pudding, of course, is the flying. And uh, Matt and I did a test hover uh, in which we both just hover. That's all we pretty much do. And the, the last man down is, of course, the winner. Uh, with that, uh, my original quad flew for six minutes and the new quad flew for eight minutes, so that's roughly a 25% increase in flight times, an extra two minutes. Actually, because this is much steadier and much smoother to fly as it is and much lighter, I'm actually gonna make the old one my hot ship and uh, take up the rates and uh, stick scaling with this one with Matt's help behind the camera. And that will be my hot ship, which I'll throw around, and this will be my new camera ship. So if you are looking for a good, steady camera ship, uh, this setup here is actually ideal. Now, talking of cameras, the module, the DeadCat PCB, comes with an optional module, uh, which is here. Now, this allows you to power your FPV equipment uh, through the board via your one battery, which is great. Um, but for my actual FPV setup, because I use a GoPro and I will only ever use GoPro because I really like that setup, that of course has its own internal battery, so this is actually a redundant system for me. That's why you can order this board with and without this system to suit your FPV setup. But if you are looking for a uh, fast sports kind of machine that you can throw around in a quad form, uh, this is certainly the ticket with the uh, 1200 kV and the 8 inch props. 
If you are looking for a steadier, lightweight um, and neater setup, then I would recommend getting the integrated board setup with the uh, 1000 kV and the 9 inch props. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget if you are looking uh, to find the exact setup for the Dead Cat, Matt has a great video in his multi rotor series titled Dead Cat, strangely enough. And I've used the exact same parameters on both my Dead Cats and it flies rock solid for it. So check that out uh, and you'll get all the information you need there. I'm going to go out and fly this now and uh, thank you for watching.